Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step by step process on how you go about creating an account and signing up through Binance on your smartphone device. And if you want a bonus when signing up, you can use my referral link down in the video description. So, starting off, if you're on an Android phone, we're going to open up the Google Play Store. Now, if you're on an iPhone, you're going to go to the Apple App Store and we're going to be looking for the Binance app. So, at the top in the search bar, we can just type in Binance up there. And if you're in the U.S. like me, you're going to want to use the Binance.us app. Otherwise, you can just use the regular Binance application. So then we're going to select the Binance app that we want to install. And then we click on the install button. And once the application has installed, you can open it from the download page. Otherwise, we can go back to our home page. And you should get the Binance app to show up on one of your home pages. So once we find that, we're going to click on it to open it up. If you already have a Binance account, of course, you can click log in. But for us, we don't have an account. So we're going to click down here at the bottom where it says sign up now. Then you need to type in an email that you want associated with your Binance account, a password. And this password must contain at least eight characters and include at least one uppercase letter and one number. And for the referral ID to get a bonus when you sign up, you can use my referral ID, which I'm going to post down in the description. And once you enter in that information, you can check this box after you've looked over the terms of use and privacy policy. And then you can click register at the bottom. And then complete the puzzle by sliding this piece into the designated area. Then you need to verify your email. They're going to send you an email to the email address that you had posted on the prior page. And the code is only going to be valid for 10 minutes. So be sure to do this fairly quickly. Now we're going to enable SMS authentication. And this is required to complete verification. So we click the let's do it button here at the bottom. And after you enter in your phone number, click this send SMS button over here at the side. And then you're going to get a code sent in a text message to your phone number. So once you get that code, enter it in here and then click next at the bottom. And as long as you enter in everything correctly, it'll say your account is secure now. And then you can click great. And then it says, I just have one more step to go. Step number three is verifying my identity. And I'm going to do this with my driver's license. So you can upload a government ID providing basic identity information. Now I've heard that the regular Binance app isn't as stringent with this verification process. I'm not sure because I haven't signed up for the regular Binance app, but if you're going through that process, it might be a bit different than what you're seeing here on the Binance US version of the application. Now for verifying your identity, you can click skip for now, but this is going to limit what you can do in the Binance US app. So I recommend just doing it at this point in the process by clicking let's do it. And for your identity verification, you're going to enter in your first name, your middle name, last name, gender, date of birth, and then either your tax ID or your social security number, and then click next at the bottom. And then enter in your home address. And once you enter in all the information for your address, you can click confirm at the bottom. And then click accept. And this is where you can upload a valid government ID, whether it's a driver's license. And if you don't have a driver's license, you can do a state ID, a passport or a visa. I'm going to do the driver's license, so I'm going to select that option up here. So you're going to take a photo of your ID. So we're going to click continue at the bottom again. And with the camera on your phone, you're going to want to line up the ID here on the front of your ID and make sure it's in a well lit area so you get a nice good photo. And after you take that photo, it'll ask you, does this look good to you? Please make sure all the data on your document is visible and readable. And if it is, you can click confirm. Otherwise, you can retake the photo and then scan the barcode on the back of your driver's license. So I'm going to click continue. And then it will ask you to take a selfie, center your face in the frame and follow the on-screen instructions. The capturing happens automatically. So click continue. And then it's going to verify your document. And then it says my documents have been received. Your documents have been received and are currently being reviewed. So we can click got it. And then that's going to take us over to the home page of the Binance application. And we can see that they're currently reviewing the information that I had submitted and my verification is pending. And to finish off this video, I'm just going to quickly run through these tabs at the bottom to give you an idea of what you can do on this app. So the first tab here on the far left hand corner, that's what we're on right now. This is the home page of the Binance app. So then the next one looks like a little chart. We're going to click on that. And this will give us information on the current prices of different crypto. So you can check out those charts here. Now I'm going to click on this little button in the middle that looks like a wallet. And this is going to have our portfolio value and it's going to allow us to deposit, withdraw, transfer in funds and cryptocurrency in your wallet area. And then I'm going to click on the next tab. And this will have any of your open orders as well as a history of the orders that you've made through the Binance app. And then clicking on the last tab in the bottom right hand corner that looks like a little profile image. And this will have your personal information. It will allow you to add a payment method. It'll show you the status of your identity verification. You can also change the security as well as the settings of the app. And of course, when you sign up, if you want to use my referral, it's listed right here, but I'll also post it down in the description. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.